Hey everybody, I'm Curtis and I'm a project fabricator here at Detroit Speed and Engineering and I'm going to show you how to install and calibrate Holly's new Easy Level Fuel Level Sender. The Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender uses LiDAR technology to accurately tell you the depth of remaining fuel left in your tank and works with short sweep, full sweep and electronic gauges available from Classic Instruments along with many other brands. The Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender comes with onboard buttons and switches to make programming and set up a breeze, and it also includes a gasket, bolts, and washers for installation. Float style senders can become old and worn out. These senders consist of moving parts that corrode and fail and floats that are prone to leaking. In addition to leaking, these floats can cause inaccurate readings due to fuel sloshing upon cornering or acceleration and deceleration. There are three studs on top of the unit, a ground, a positive, and a gauge signal. You'll also find under this rubber cap, two switches for your averaging rate, a status LED, and then three buttons labeled P1, P2, P3 for your calibration. We have here both a set of classic instruments gauges destined for Simon's 1970 Chevelle and a Holly Pro Dash going in Randy's K5 Blazer. Well, I'll be showing you how to wire both these up to the Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender. As with any electrical work, we're gonna make sure our battery's disconnected first before we take our leads and hook them up to the Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender. When setting up your averaging, there are four settings that you can use ranging from fastest to slowest response time. We recommend using the fastest averaging setting during the setup process. You'll be setting the switches to the on-on position. Because fuel levels tend to change slowly, we recommend using the normal averaging setting for the longest response time, though this may vary depending on your fuel tank size and volume. Using the correct averaging setting for your application will provide you with the most accurate gauge reading. To begin calibrating our Holly Easy Level fuel sender with our Classic Instruments fuel gauge, first we're going to hook up the battery and then remove the rubber cover on the sender. Here you can see our averaging settings, our LED status light, and our calibration buttons. To calibrate our short sweep gauge, first we're gonna press the P1 calibration button until the LED turns blue. Once the LED turns blue, we're gonna use P2 and P3 calibration buttons to set our gauge to empty. Once the gauge is desired empty, you press P1 again and wait for the LED to turn off. LED will flash three times and show that the position is saved. Next, you're gonna use P2, P3 buttons again to move the gauge to half full. Once set, you're gonna press P1 again and hold it until the LED turns off. The LED will then again flash three times, showing that the data is saved. Last time, you're gonna set the gauge to full using P2 and P3 again. Once that is set, press P1 a final time and wait for the LED to turn off. Flash three times red, and your gauge is calibrated. Next, we're gonna hook up our Holly Easy Level Fuel Center to our Holly Pro Dash. Wiring's a little bit different from our classic instrument short sweep gauge. We have to hook up a jumper from our ground post to our gauge post with a 680 ohm resistor. Now to set it up on the Holly Pro Dash, we go to the menu, configuration, dash configuration. We're gonna scroll down to our fuel gauge, make sure it's on 90R, hit okay. Return back to our dashboard and set the Holly Easy Level Fuel Center up the same way we do as the Classic Instrument Short Sweep Gauge. Seeing as Simon Chevelle is over in paint and body and doesn't have a fuel tank in it, we're gonna take a walk over to Roger's 1968 Mustang and use fuel tank in that car to calibrate our Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender. Here we have Roger's 1968 Mustang that we recently finished doing the fuel lines in and setting up with the Holly Sniper fuel pump. I'll be using the SAE5 hole that is already in the tank for the fuel sender. And it looks like we're at six and three quarters to the bottom of the tank. Gonna walk back over and show you how to calibrate the Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender for that depth. So here we have our tank calibration set up with the marks for our tank empty with a half inch of reserve at six and a quarter. Not needed for the calibration, but I decided to go ahead and mark it anyways. A three and one eighths tank at half full. And this will represent our tank at full. So to start our tank calibration, we are gonna check that our LED light is flashing green, and we're gonna hold it at the tank empty with a half inch of reserve. You wanna hold it here for about 10 seconds to make sure everything is set up, and the LED is blinking constantly. 
Then you want to hold the P1 button until the LED turns off and flashes red three times. Then we're gonna move up to our full tank position and again press P1 until the LED turns off and flashes red three times. Your Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender is now calibrated and ready to be used in your car. We're gonna finish the installation of our Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender by installing it into the gas tank on Roger 68 Mustang here. First, we're gonna put our gasket on, make sure it's clocked correctly with the bolt holes. Drop our screws through it. And drop it into the center provision. Like to install this in a crisscross pattern to make sure the gasket sits correctly. And with our bolts tightened down, we can reconnect our wires to the ground post, the positive 12 volt post, and the gauge post. Thank you guys for following along. And if you have any questions regarding the Holly Easy Level Fuel Sender, or you just want to stay up to date on our projects here at Detroit Speed, please go over to holly.com.